This story is about a real estate agent named Higo. Today he had an important meeting with a wealthy landlord. The landlord rushed to greet him as soon as he entered the house and thoughtfully poured tea to invite him. Higo approached him shyly and inquired briefly about the mansion. Two people talked about the contract and the commission agreement as well as the selling price. Despite the fact that the decision had been made, the owner seemed to be depressed. Higo didn't pay much attention to that. The only thing he was concerned with was the profit that he would earn. He presented the owner with a completed contract and waited for response. Meanwhile, the mood in the living room had deteriorated. Higo felt a shivering sensation all of a sudden. The door to the living room burst open when he turned back slightly to have a look. He inquired innocently of the landlord about the state of the facilities, infrastructure and quality of this villa in order to conduct an evaluation, but the owner was unconcerned, simply stating that he was willing to sell at whatever price Higo deemed reasonable. Higo was taken aback by this. Suddenly, he heard a strange sound outside of the corridor. Before Higo could ask what was going on, the landlord handed him the contract and explained what needed to be revised before asking when he could resume signing. Higo received the contract, carefully memorized the customer's request and then quickly left. The owner also sent him to the door. On the way to the door, he noticed cold air coming from this house as if something strange was going on. Apparently, he had a feeling that this landlord was concealing something from him. He moved his gaze to a small corner of the living room. Some old toys for children had been left in the corner. Higo found it difficult to comprehend. But then he set aside the story about this house and strolled out leisurely. A cold breeze blew lightly on his back as he approached the gate. Higo had the impression that someone was staring at him. He then turned his head to look again at that house. When he turned around, there was a tiny shadow standing at the upper window. The face appeared of a little boy with dark eyes and pale skin. Higo looked at him with surprise, sensing that something was wrong. The landlord told him that he didn't have a wife or child. How come there was a boy standing there? But he soon discovered that his concern was futile. So, Higo walked straight to the gate to continue his work, where the boy silently watched him. It was strange that he had just left the villa not long ago. The landlord called him back with a very urgent attitude, demanding that he wanted to conclude the contract as soon as possible. Higo returned to the villa for his client. He stood in front of the house and gently rang the bell but it took a long time for the old landlord to respond. He had been waiting outside for a long time. He banged on the door and shouted loudly because his instincts told him that something bad had happened, but it didn't work. He discovered that the door was not locked while knocking. He pushed in curiously, wondering where this old man could go. Why the landlord didn't lock the door if he went out? Back into the room, he heard painful groans of the landlord calling his name. The landlord appeared covered in blood in front of him. Something slashed across his back, and he was running to Higo in fear, looking for help. He landed on Higo's body. Higo picked up the old man reflexively, asking him what had just happened. The old man hummed. Extreme panic said that someone wanted to kill him. Higo had a chance to look behind the landlord when he fell on him but it was a lot stranger than he thought. Behind him was an empty room with no one, no footprints and no indication that anyone other than the owner was present. He panicked and rushed the old man to the hospital. Fortunately, the injury was minor and he regained consciousness within a few minutes. His entire body was wrapped in white bandages and tired eyes stared at him. When Higo asked him about the incident, his eyes revealed a little sadness and remorse. The old landlord called Higo to stand closer to him and then sorrowfully told him the whole story, beginning with a bad decision he made a year ago. He was a failed businessman at that time. 
The company was on the verge of bankruptcy. All of the projects he invested in had failed completely that he ended up empty-handed. During a drink with a friend, he was tipped away to save the business. A very useful trick he picked up while traveling in Thailand. That was to invite Kuman Tong to worship in his home. The infant demon was a dread fetal body that was placed in a statue, then cast a spell to calm the soul so that it could stay in this world to save and bless the adoptee who was considered to be his biological parents. Because he was poor and stuck at the time, he listened to his friend and traveled to Thailand to request a statue of an infant demon to worship at home. At the beginning, everything came true. The devil provided him with whatever he desired. Money kept pouring into his pocket. His previous partners had rejected him before, now also back to collaboration. Some time later he met a beautiful young woman. The two quickly married. Not long after that, the wife became pregnant. The doctor on the ultrasound said it was a healthy boy. During the pregnancy, the wife always had a feeling of something very insecure, especially when she passed the altar of the devil that he placed in the house. One time, the wife was passing by the altar of the Kumantang. She slightly looked up at the altar. In a sudden, she saw the demon's face changed, staring at her. She told her husband about this, but he not only didn't care, he also considered it as a joke. Because she couldn't sleep, the wife went down to the stairs alone as if someone made her do it. Just a few steps, a great force behind her slammed into her back. Panicked, she turned her head to see what was standing behind her. She saw the infant demon standing on the stairs, looking at her killing sight in his eyes. She fell down the stairs, slamming her body into the ground. She was unconscious and bleeding profusely. After that, she not only couldn't keep the pregnancy, but she also lost her ability to become pregnant again. The couple started to fight from there. He couldn't hold on to that broken marriage any longer, so he watched her leave the house with a suitcase. Since then, his career had also taken a downward turn. Losing his wife and family was devastating enough that he was unable to maintain his career. To cope with his grief, he turned to alcohol. Until one day, when he returned home drunk, he looked at the Kumantong statue on the altar and became enraged. He blamed Kumantong for his life being ruined and stuck. So he raised his hand intending to smash the bottle of wine on the demon's head in order to destroy the statue. But a ray of turquoise light shot at him before he could do anything. He slammed the bottle of wine onto his head instead. Blood splattered and his head hurt like hell. He regained his composure looking around Gidley, not understanding anything. When he looked up at the altar, he noticed that the Kumantong had transformed and now was staring at him with a soft ghostly smile. Until today, he decided to stay at home and called Higo in order to discuss about the selling of this house. Huh? While he was speaking, a sharp knife from the table rushed towards him. He was fortunate to avoid the knife's tip, but the knife cut him deeply on one of his cheeks. He unconsciously looked up at the roof and noticed the Kumantong floating in the air. That demon was staring at him. His eyes were white and wide open and he had a hostile expression on his face. The demon then cast a spell that caused his furniture to fly up and then threw him like a storm, rendering him unable to dodge. Ego felt panicked after hearing the story and worried about the contract with his landlord. He said his goodbyes to the landlord and then left quietly. He kept thinking about the horror story he had just heard as he drove. He walked past a mansion that was once thought to be a big catch for him. He couldn't help but be concerned when he saw the billboard in front of the house. Ego paused for a moment before taking a step closer. The infant demon was still looking at him from above. 
right at the window. But his smile had become more ghostly than ever.